Hi YouTube, uh, been a long time since I've been on here. You join me from Grand Theft Auto 5 where I'm going to be giving you a channel update and having a chat about this, I'd say brilliant game, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to call it a brilliant game, or what was once a brilliant game. You can see where I'm going. Grand Theft Auto 5, when I first got it, was awesome. It was a big, multi big multiplayer game. Um, well, at the time it wasn't because we was having online issues as per every other game um, these days that doesn't start off with online and, and introduces it at a later date. That's just, you know, part and parcel of getting games that haven't got online yet. It, it, it's going to happen. Even with games that have got online preloaded, um, you're going to have server issues and bugging and, and stuff like that. This was going on for a while, and then eventually Grand Theft Auto sorted its stuff out. I mean, we still have issues now every now and then, but in hindsight, you can normally get into a server. Unless your internet is running off um, a rabbit in the back garden. However, mine isn't. Um, Grand Theft Auto Online. Firstly, the story is great. Um, it's a bit short, could be better. But online it's gone downhill dramatically I miss the days where you could just come online with your friends um, and attempt to get into like Fort Zancudo or go on a massive police chase and see how long you can survive for without getting killed by SWAT hey. or where you could just roam around the city centre last Santos without fear and intimidation of been blown up to bits by a flying motorbike with rockets like what what's all that about in my opinion Grand Theft Auto should be exactly what it stands for in the US if you commit Grand Theft Auto you're stealing a car um, committing a felony which is what this game is about it's, it's been it's cops and robbers it's uh, it's testing people's patience it's gang wars biker gangs drugs street gangs, ballers, you know, grocery, all that old school stuff. It's about being able to walk into a, uh, a liquor store and hold it up for a thousand dollars when you've got literally nothing left. You don't even have to have ammunition in your gun. In fact, I'll show you an example of this. It's just old school Grand Theft Auto. It's not about what it, whatever it's become now some sort of militarised war zone. I fear for, for my own safety <laughs> when I go into the city centre. I, I, don't, I don't trust a single person there. you got people rolling around in APCs. I am, I'm, I'm alright in planes too, side note. Um, APCs, armoured patrol cars, you got tanks, you got bikes that fire rockets. And fly? Since when is that realistic? Grand Theft Auto is not realistic by a long shot. But. Hi. Come on, motherfucker, give me the money. I am pissing copy. around. Let's go. Hurry up. Myself. It's things, that, little things like this in the game where you talk down your mic and it actually intimidates him more. He doesn't know it yet, but I'm gonna rob him for his cash and then I'm gonna blow his face off. Because that's how I roll. This is my old British. Uh, British Army wear, by the way. <clears throat> so, Grand Theft Auto Online, thank you very much, and have a nice day. See, this is what Grand Theft Auto is about, blowing fucking holes in people, blowing holes in doors, there's nothing in that till, but I've just made a $1,883. Now there's cops outside. I appreciate this stuff's gonna get boring eventually. Killing cops, robbing stores. But they bought out so many things to make it more fun. Hoists. You know? Um, oh, my plane's gone. It's probably a good idea I've got this car. They bought out hoists, they bought out biker wars, they bike, bought out biker gangs. All these little things you can do ar around the uh, map. You can engage with with people and, and end up in a gunfight with them the next. Survival, that's good times. I remember staying up to like 2, 3 in the morning um, battling off the uh, computer whose ultimate goal was to kill you. Um, and at the end of it, if being successful, which we was, 
you would get 20 grand, 30 grand, something like that, which for the price of things on, on the uh, Warstock cash and carry and the price of houses and properties now, the price of weapons even, that's like pocket change, whereas back then, when the first when the game first came out, twenty, thirty thousand dollars in your maze bank account would be considered quite a lot. I'd be like, oh cool. I can uh, do what I wanted now. I wanted to go and hijack a, a random car off the street and see see how much I can modify it. You'd be able to do that with that twenty, thirty thousand dollars. And you'd all be saving up for the Bugatti Veyron copy for a million. That would be the ultimate goal. But now it, it, it's gone beyond fun. It's sort of turned into a high-spec military operation. I, I genuinely can't bear the thought of going into the city centre. Now, sometimes I love it because I'll just grab a fighter jet and I'll go and tear shit up in there. I, I won't take no prisoners or a tank. But I want to be able to roll around the city centre without being blown to bits sometimes. I want to be able to sting it. Great. I want to be able to visit the beach with my friends. You know, it's about things like that. That's what Grand Theft Auto is about. It's about bringing people to... I mean, look at this shit. Like, I am doing... I will, I will retaliate with violence. I'm doing nothing wrong. In fact, I'm not even bothering these people. I think they weren't bothering me, to be honest. But fuck them, they, they can die. For all I care. Grenade out, they will soon be dead. See? It's like having Mighty Dom on Call of Duty, that is, son. But it's like, Grand Theft Auto has always been a game where you can't be peaceful. You will have people shooting you, and I get that, but it, it's gone a step too far. And let me show you why. It's not realistic by a long shot, and I mentioned that earlier, but. As soon as I find a, a car, I'll demonstrate some of the shit that bought out. For example. Oh wow. Alien guns. I mean, it's a Prius, so it sort of deserves it, but... That is fun. I understand that. But I also understand that the point where you can pull shit like this, it might have gone too far. I'm not boring, believe me, I'm not, but... Oh, someone's shooting at you? Oh, right, okay. So, imagine this is another player. Hey, oh, come out of there. Oh, that, that... That's really fair, right? Come on, you might as well just allow hacking. Anyway, that's my philosophy on GTA. It, it, it was good where the point of bought in... The capability to build your own, um, to take part in cannabis factories, meth, all that sort of stuff. Even bought a little Breaking Bad in there. Um, biker gangs was awesome as well. The ability to buy your own big properties and nightclubs, which is a very recent thing, is great. But rolling around in tanks and, you know, anti aircraft machines and whatever the hell other shit you've got on here that should be safe for things like Call of Duty or whatever I haven't bought Call of Duty, I've bought GTA so to, I mean this is a bunker for example just random stuff on the game that wasn't there before and it it's cool if you're into that stuff but it should be an optional thing it shouldn't should be certain game modes where you can go and do this stuff it shouldn't be online 24 7 i have to go into a private party with my friends to get stuff done um to just have laughs like we used to old school because you can't go more than half an hour on on a good day i mean it, it's 11 o'clock now uk time which is 11 p.m that is so it's generally quiet because I think I'm on an EU server, but you know, come come school time, about five six o'clock, where sometimes I'm working, sometimes I'm not. You just 
can't go more than a minute without some kid on a bike that shoots rockets and lasers and whatever else blowing your head off anyway I am truly done with GTA I'm sorry if I bored you to death but you know more gaming videos coming up just a quick update now um, I'll be doing a car review soon I am gonna be getting back into off-roading um, so I'm thinking of doing a um, like maybe 10 episodes or however long it takes me to modify my off-road vehicle that I get might be a Jeep might be a Suzuki uh, might be a Land Rover could be a Ford could be anything whatever I choose to get I'll be modifying to off-road spec and each time I do modification or change part of the vehicle I'll be doing an episode it'll be called something like my off-road um, experience or tour or whatever I've, I've done off-roading before it's amazing um, so I'll be doing lots of that stuff do more gaming stuff soon um, doing lots of random reviews might have some work related stuff um, when I say work related stuff I'm s sort of standing next to the thing that I work for obviously UK and all that um, gives it away without giving it away because I can't I can't comment on my work until I've spoke to certain people but anyway um, that's pretty much it there's, there's going to be a lot more stuff um, I hope you've enjoyed the video I'm sure some of you will agree that GTA has gone a bit too far. It really is fun, I get it. A lot of the stuff on here is fun, but a lot of the stuff's a bit unfair. It's a bit like, if you can't afford this gun, which is probably $300,000 or something, then, you know, you've got to buy a shark card now to sort of match the cards and a million dollars on this game doesn't even cut it anymore anyway please comment like and subscribe there'll be more soon thanks for watching